Hi everyone, it's me back again for my second floss tube. Uh, my name's Heather and I'm from Willy Willy Sheep Sheep. You can find me on Instagram and on Etsy um, under that name. Um, on Etsy I have a haberdashery shop, um, haberdashery craft supply shop on there. You find all the bits and bobs. Um, so how was everybody and how's everybody keeping this week? Um, here in Northern Ireland we're in, I've actually lost count, I don't know if we're in our second or third week of lockdown. Um, which is pretty much, it's pretty much a total lockdown. Bar essentials, um, schools aren't in, um, if you can work from home, you work from home. Sorry, I'm clicking the thing. Um, yeah, you work from home, you do. Um, and there's very little about whenever you do go out, which I suppose is a good thing in a way. So it is. Um, but and also it's not so bad because the weather's been a wee bit rough as well. So that doesn't, you sort of don't mind so much not being able to leave the house whenever the weather's the weather it's raining and cold and windy, it's, you don't mind. So, um, but no, um, as I say, I'm back for my, my second video. Um, I have to say thank you to everybody who has watched my first one so far and who has liked and subscribed. Thank you. Um, and I had lovely comments as well. Um, but no, uh, this week, I have been working mostly, I was mostly on one of my whips I was on. I sort of started another one, there's a bit of a story to it, so I'll tell you it whenever I'm showing you it. But um, I was working on the little mouse one that I showed you last time. Uh, so got quite a bit done in it. Um, I would like to say it's finished. It's not though. I have still so much backstitching to do on it. It's scary. So I do still have it as a whip. Um, because I did start, as I was going along, I must have started, excuse me, doing um, backstitch on it. Um, so I can't even go, well, I'll not bother with the backstitch because it's not going to look right anyway now. So um, I'm going to have to get that done at some stage. Um, Oh, as well, I don't have glasses on. I have a new setup with one of the ring lights and no matter what way I set it, you could see I have two rings in my eyes. So that's why I'm sitting here and I'm sort of half blind because I've no glasses on, but I will try. If I drop stuff, if I push stuff over, that's the reason why. <laughs> but um, no, so that has been my week. Um, so we'll start into what I have been and I'll show you what I have worked at and how it's all going. So um, I'll show you, this is the, the little mouse one, the Up the Wooden Hill. Um, as I say, it's all the stitching's done. It's just the back stitching now that needs done. So that's it there. It did turn out really nice, if I can get that up, maybe. I did make some mistakes on this. These are too close together, they should be one over, but I just miscounted it somewhere along the line, I don't know. That was done years ago, so I wasn't going to start picking it out and redoing it again. I just, no, it'll, it'll do the way it is there, and it, it's not obvious, but I have all the backstitching on the windows and on the curtains and all up the stairs to do as well. Um, yeah, of her wee dress and the front of him as well. So there is quite a lot of backstitching on that still to do, but I'll get it done sometime. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what to do even when I do have it finished because to me it's nearly more of a nursery. I could put it, well, I don't know. But to me it is, it's sort of more of a nursery and my daughter's well past nursery age now. 
And if I mentioned putting anything like that in her bedroom, I would get looked at very, very severely. Because she was 16 at Christmas, which I can't, I can't fathom how she's 16. But that's the joys of having teenage girls. So, so that's that one. Um, I've just left all my bits and pieces and I will take a cup of tea. does say on it, wake me up when it's Friday, which I agree with. Just don't know what Okay, I've actually only these two to show you this week because it was, it's all I've worked on. Um, I did actually start counting stitches, how many stitches I was doing on that piece. Um, I think it was about 250 a night I done. Now, sort of considering I'm, when I say a night, that might be about an hour, an hour and a half if I'm getting a good part in. So it's good enough. 250 for me is fine. I'm happy enough with it. Um, I think at the weekend now I sat down on Saturday with it for quite a while and that's whenever I got it mostly finished off so I got a good few more stitches done then but uh, I'm finding it with this this one that I'm doing that the uh, I'm just thinking I forgot to bring in the full photograph of this but um, the one that I'm doing now is a full coverage one so also the chart um, is all in colour which I'm just realising I'm shaking you every time this way as a setup, but the chart's in full colour and I'm not used to, it's always been black and white, so I am finding that quite hard to read, um, but I'm getting there, so I'll show you it, um, I'll fold this up a wee bit and then you can see it maybe a wee bit better, there is quite a bit of fabric here, so that's it there. It's actually a wee bit darker coming across on the screen than what it is in real life. But this butterfly seems to be mostly blues. Um, it's, it is easy worked up, although the chart is, although the charts, it is hard to read at times and the way I sort of mark it off is probably, it's my own fault. So, um, that's, that's sort of made it not that easy either to read, but um, it is working up fast enough. And there is, I'll see if I can get that wee bit closer to you. There's, there's a good few colours there already. Um, I think in total um, there is 46 different shades in this one. So there, let's say this butterfly is mostly blue um but there's other ones like the one up above it's more purples and stuff so there is a, a lot of color on it overall and then you have the full background as well um it seems to be mostly half stitches and full stitches i did see there is three quarter and quarter stitches um at some point within the pattern but I haven't come across them yet, so I'm assuming they're maybe out more on the, the borders and whatnot. But um, no, this is, as I say, completely full stitch or full coverage. Um, so I'm working away on it at the minute. Now, as I say, there's sort of a bit of a story behind this. Um, at the weekend, whenever I had that, that one finished, I thought, right, I'll go and I'll pick one of the other ones and I had said to you last week that I was probably going to do the little um I think it was a jack in the box the hedgehog um but I went and I said oh, just really it's nice but it's not what I want to do at the minute um so I was going through all my other ones that I showed you last week and I picked this one up and I realized this one was one of my mum's now, my mum passed away six years ago, 
uh, and actually her anniversary is tomorrow. So I thought, well, she had it started. Everything was all there ready to go. Um, so with it being the week of her anniversary, why not? Why not start it and see where for how far I can get on with it and it would be nice and nice to get it finished for her so it would as well. But um you know, so that's that's the reason why I picked that. I don't know if to be honest I picked it and I didn't actually I wasn't even thinking of it being full coverage. I just sort of I don't know, I just seen the butterflies and I thought, yeah, that'd be fine. And then it wasn't I said, I thought, hold on a second, this is all full coverage, but um, I don't mind, I don't mind. Um, I'm going to show you in my, it's between hauls and what I'm going to start. Because mostly what I was buying in my haul was for stuff that I'm looking to start. So um, that was, say, that was a wee story behind that, but... I say I'm, I'm enjoying it and there is, it is going to be nice and colourful. It's just all the threads, that's the, because I see, I don't know, um, I see a lot of people and they keep the threads down I suppose to keep stitching on but I actually finish off all my threads. I, as I finish with a colour I cut it stitch it in and work it that way which if there's a lot of colour changes I find you know like there's at least three blues there if not possibly four so there is times I just go oh, I can't bother but I know I sort of went to try I can't actually mind which one it was it maybe no, it wasn't that. Yes, it was actually that one. I went to try it on that one, but I kept getting it caught and that was only one thread. And I seen, I was watching a floss tube today and there was like 20, 30 threads. I was like, oh my goodness, how do you keep control of those? And it was so neat. It was so neat. Mine would not be neat. It would be like tangled hair. That's all I can say. It would be like tangled hair. So, uh, I would like to know if you do which way, you know, do you, do you just do all the stitches and sew it in the back or do you, you leave the threads and then go on, you know, come on that way. Just if you want to let me know in the comments for, as I say, I'm only coming back to it. So in a sense, it is all new to me again. Um. So I suppose there's no right way or wrong way, but... If there's a faster way, it might be better. And also uh, keeping the stitches or the amount of thread you use down to a minimum as well. Because um, I'm sort of was finding that you were going on to, um, you know, you were changing for the blues and whatnot. And you were coming to near the end of your thread that you were using. But there was maybe, you know still was a good bit but I sort of go mm, do I really want to start another one because no sooner will I have started it and I'll have to change it again so I don't know let me know let me know uh, what way you use it and if you've maybe tried both ways which way you find the best or better for you so no that was it so that is all my whips a whole amazing number of two. I know I watch all these floss tubes and there's people and they have like just whip after whip after whip and I like oh my goodness if two that's never going to, to do but um they are going up because I have I've actually two stitch alongs that started of one that started but I only got the stuff through this week well the thread actually only come yesterday so I'm only starting it now or going to start it and then the next stitch along by caterpillar cross stitch um, starts on the 25th so 
when's the 25th? Monday week, I think it is. So I have that to look forward to. So the next bit, um, I think I'm going to just show you what I have bought this past week. Um, I'm not one. I sort of take notions in buying and I'll go and buy a load of stuff all in one go and then I might not buy very much for the next wee while and then I'll go again but um, definitely I'll not be buying anything for another week or more. <laughs> I'll just have to make this do me. But um, let's see, I'll actually start. It'd be interesting to know if any of you have used one of these or something similar. But I got this last week and I used it last end of last week and over the weekend to finish off the wee, the wee mice. And I have found it really, really good. I use a hoop whenever I'm stitching away and I find my hand can get quite I know I must have a grip on it like I don't know but I find my hand gets quite sore um in there but that that took it all away I did try it with that but I found because there was so much excess fabric around it I found it um I was nearly afraid of catching the fabric and starting to stitch two different layers and stuff and I ended up taking it out. Now that I have I actually had to move it down today so I might try it because there's less fabric um, just where it would slip under the ring at that side or slips under the wee thing. Um, that's it actually built up there. So you have, that's where your hip or your frame goes into there and then you just use those to clamp it down um, and then you can adjust it with that there you can adjust it and tighten it there you also can go back and forward with it um, there's also you can adjust this which will let you swivel it around more towards yourself or away whichever and then that's the wee pad you put your legs over to hold everything in place but um no i have to say i find it i find it really good and um definitely it takes the the strain out of my hand so i'm gonna have to stop touching the table for i'm just noticing that's rocking and rocking all the time um so no that was one bye next one was and I have seen this in so many places, so this is why, and I have started to watch him on YouTube, his floss tubes. I think I've watched them all. But um, this is the Sew Along by Modern Folk Embroidery by Jacob. Um, I just seen this and I thought, oh, I have to, I have to start that and get that. Um, so no, I, I bought it now. I've only bought the January. I didn't buy the full because, to be honest, I don't know how long that would ever take me to do. So I'll just buy it as I go along um, and work it that way. But no, um, it just it looks amazing. I love the little house, the birds. I think the first chart is this, the bird probably have seen it everywhere on Instagram as I say I'm just so far behind on it but um, the hashtag is MFE Sal 2021 so um, it's called the fruits of plenty but uh, no so I definitely I got that and then in the, the first one you also get uh, the alphabet for the initials up on the front it's there and in the far side so you get a full alphabet and numbers and all as well with it so that's really good uh so got that um i'm just doing it on 16 count that's cream 
Cream Aida, Cream Ivory. So doing it on that. Um, I have been considering dyeing up doing either a tea or coffee dye, but I can't bring myself to doing it because I'm so scared of messing it all up. Um, and also I hope and pray that I have bought enough, but I'll soon find out when I start measuring it. But I would have loved to have done a dye on it, but I just, as I say, I'm just too scared of it going horribly wrong. And I want that one to turn out quite nice. Now, I had to buy the threads to go with it. So I bought, I looked, um, I liked the blue and I thought, yeah, I like the blue. And then I seen, I think it was one of Jacob's floss tubes I was watching and he inserted photographs of all different ones that people have already either started or even finished the January ones. Um, there were so many different colours. They were gorgeous. There was oranges, there was greens, different coloured blues. There was variegated thread. It was beautiful, some of them. So I thought, right, this is, this is a long haul project. This isn't going to be something that's going to be done on a, a weekend. So um, pick your favourite colours that you're going to enjoy using. So purple. Purple is my favourite, so purple, every, you'll see purple everywhere. Um, so I've picked, these are DMC uh, 550 and 553. So I'm going to be using those. Is that going to pick them up? It's actually washing the lighter one out more it's a lot lighter than what that is or it's lighter on screen than what it actually is in real life because whenever i opened it i actually thought mm, that's maybe not light enough but i'm going to try it anyway and see um i think it's i think it should be fine but uh that's the two colors i'm hoping to start and doing it in um it is a kind of an odd one too because whenever I'm doing any of my starting off any of the projects they uh, I always start from the middle out and with this one being up in the corner I'm gonna find it and I, I'm actually I have put off starting it because of the simple fact of if I don't do the right measurements I'm gonna end up lost and half of it's going to be on a separate piece of Ada or some I don't know but I just have visions of it going horribly wrong and I don't want it to <laughs> but so that's that's those I got those off Etsy and I got I can't I have the name of the shop I should have it I'll put the name of the shop down they were actually very good in price and very good you had to message the person just to say that they had the amount that you needed and they come back very quick and it was posted in with me I was actually surprised when it landed and it was it again I yes that one come off eBay it's Flora Shell Needle Crafts so got it again really quick and with us being in Northern Ireland and everything that's Brexit at the minute um I'm actually <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Uh I seen it on Facebook. Uh the postal service put up so many towns, I can't remember was it twenty-five different towns that were like the worst hit and the services were really bad or something on them. Ours was the only town in Northern Ireland on the list. But the thing is, of course it was on the town Facebook. Um nobody can complain everybody is saying that their posts coming through it's coming through quick you know everybody gets posts most days you know where you were reading in other ones and maybe other parts of england and they maybe weren't getting post maybe twice a week or twice a week twice a month they were maybe getting post we're here i see the postman every day so i don't know but as i say anything i have ordered has come if not 
on the date, like the day after, and some of the stuff's even come earlier, so I don't know. It's maybe just a news, slow news day. But the last thing that I got, nothing exciting, was 14 count. And again, this is cream. Yeah. Cream Ivory. Ada. I always have used Ada. I haven't even tried even weave. I sort of look at it and it's very, it just intimidates me. Um, and I just, I find the eight, I suppose it's like everything. I just find it so handy. So why would I put myself through going and having to start learning how to count another fabric? But um, I just, I love the finish of even weave and linen is absolutely gorgeous. But I just, I just don't have the confidence in myself to try it. I suppose the next step would be even weave, but I'm just so scared of getting it and completely mucking it up. But I suppose you just rip it out and start again. <laughs> That's all you can do. So that is everything that I have for cross stitch this week. Um, I just, as I say, all week when I'm stitching and doing that, um, as I say, I'm back to work. Um, over a week now. No, it was actually last week, last Thursday, I started back to work. Um, so since then, I haven't been just getting as much stitching done. Um, but at least with working from home, um, when I'm having tea break and lunch break, I just stick YouTube on. So as I say, the amount of lost tubers that I've started to watch and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That was my clicking on everybody's because they're all so good. But um, no, like, I actually I have a list of everybody here that I have watched and I'll put them all in the description below for anybody that's new to it, like me. Um, and it is overwhelming. I have to say it is overwhelming the amount of people that's on it. But everybody is so friendly. Everybody is just wants to pass on what experience they have, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and it just seems to be a really warm and welcome community on, on Floss Tube and on Instagram as well. So um, I've really enjoyed it so far. But some of the ones now I was watching today, I was watching Noah Stitches. I watched was watching his latest um, Floss Tube with his little kitten. And it just makes me so much on our cat. But I think it's Easton. Does he call a little kitten? I can't mind. He's just a spitting image of Oscar, our cat. So he's a little dote. So he is. Um, of course, I was watching Brenda and the serial stitcher, Laura. Watched her and I watched them both. Um, Ellen Reid from Maximum Cross Stitch Power. Was, I've, I think I've watched, if I haven't watched them all, I've watched about 90% of her videos. Um, the two are... Erin, yeah, the two, Martini Stitcher, uh, again, just keep watching, keep watching. Uh, then, yes, two from here in uh, Great Britain, or Britain. Uh, you have Michelle, who is Mama Loves You, GB, and then Amanda from Alba Stitcher. Again, and her beautiful cat, Alba. So, uh, no, as I say, I have been just soaking them all up. Uh, and they have been so useful. They've also added to my list of wants. Um, that's just, as I said last time, it's just grown and grown. And it isn't getting any smaller. So, definitely the, the list um, of projects. I don't know when I'm ever going to get them done. But we'll get there. Um, I do actually have a couple of other wee bits which aren't cro or cross stitch, but one of them is actually crochet, and one is fabric I bought for a new jumper. So I'm just going to quickly show you them because I sort of want to try to keep this mostly cross stitch, but um, I had these and I thought, oh, they're nice. So I am um, crocheting at the minute. I go through phases where I crochet and crochet and crochet and then I just go, oh, 
I can't be bothered anymore. But I got this, um, it's a vintage pattern, as you can see, 20p. So I'll just get the light out of it. It's a vintage pattern. So I thought I would give that a go. Um, I got this yarn from um, a girl here in Northern Ireland. Uh, she's down in Fermanagh. Uh, you Mama. I, I love her yarn. It's unreal. But she dyed this one for me. Now it has been blown out slightly by the light. It would be slightly more salmon in, in colour salmon in colour than what it's showing up here but that is how far I've got with that at the minute that's the waistband this is the front I think it's the front front or back I think they're both the same anyway and that is the little stitch there um so no, um, I have been enjoying doing that. I just have started another bit of it. So that's where I'm sort of going. And also the more I look at the yarn and the more I'm sort of starting to panic. Have I bought enough? And with it being dyed especially, I can't exactly, I don't know. But I'm, I was actually thinking for it, instead of doing the long sleeves, to do three quarter length sleeves and that would take a bit off it. And because I don't, it's not exactly a winter jumper. And I very rarely wear my sleeves long. I usually end up or rolling them up or something. So that's probably what's going to happen. So I might actually just do that and um, do three quarter length. And hopefully I should have enough yarn for that. And the last thing, just stretch over here is this fabric now if anybody does do dressmaking or making their own clothes they've probably heard of Tilly and the Buttons so um, I got her last one and now it's completely left me the name I want to say Billy but I'm not sure or Billy Pattern I'm gonna say it but um, oh, hold on a minute I'm gonna have it here one wee second. No. I have the Agnes one. I've just done a top on it. Yes, here it is here. It's her belly pattern. I do want to eventually do that, but I actually thought to myself I could do with a jumper more than a jersey dress at the minute. So I am going to do version one of it. It's just a plain sweatshirt jumper. So I was on the lookout for sweatshirt and fabric and I come across this, which I love. So it is that. It's like a navy or midnight background and there is like a rainbow sparkle all through it. So that is so pretty. The only thing is I'm going to have to draw out the jumper but I have um, I bought some of the tracing paper for it so I did. So we'll get that started at some stage as well so now that is everything i am hoping that this is not too wobbly because i will cry if it is because every time there every time i move it's jiggling the table and then it's jiggling the camera but anyway um i'll have to get that sorted for next time but no i as i say i'm going to be working away on my butterfly and I'm going to start the modern uh, folk embroidery stitch along the sal. Um, that is really going to keep me going. 
and then on the 25th the caterpillar cross stitch starts so I am going to be busy uh, also I'm doing these weekly at the minute I'm not sure really to be honest how long that's going to keep up for because I think on the 23rd of this month I am doing a diploma and it starts back up again so it's it takes quite a bit of time so it's working full time doing it and everything else uh, I might not get much stitching done so there might not be a lot to update things on from one week to the next but I'll just play it by ear at the moment see how it goes but um, no the diploma that I'm doing um, it is in or it's through the University of Galway um, and it's to do with, if I mind the right name of it, it is the archaeological history of Ireland. So it is really interesting. I'm in the second year of it, this is the final year. So there, the first term we were doing prehistory again. Um, so all Mesolithic, Neolithic, Bronze Age, all that. Um, this time we are doing the medieval we seem to be just slightly up on it's early medieval at the minute working its way up to middle i suppose but um then it'll probably be later medieval whenever we go back and then i think uh the last term we have a big project to do I'm not 100 percent sure for i haven't actually looked that far ahead yet but um as i say the work it's a lot of reading that has to be done for it um, and I know last term I actually even found it hard and I wasn't doing as much of everything else so I, I don't want the stitching to take a back seat but it could just be maybe weekends that I end up only really getting it done but we'll see. Um, I'll worry about that whenever that starts again but I'll keep you updated anyway. So it's not a matter that I'll be stopping but I'll just instead of maybe doing them every week it maybe be every other week just so I have stuff to actually show you whenever I come on um but no that's um that is my life update um again I say I hope everybody is keeping well and safe um and keeping stitching but Thank you very much. If you've made it this long <laughs> and lasted this long, you've done really well. Um, but no, until next time, I want to say thank you and I'll see you for floss tube number three, hopefully next week. Thank you. Bye.